nobody wants to be made redundant. Hey everyone, welcome back. For those who are new, I am Laura, a Nigerian data analyst living in the UK. Today's vlog takes you behind the scenes of my work life at our London office. Get ready for a mix of my highest achievements this year and real struggles I've faced so far in my career this year. If you're curious about the life of a data analyst in London, stick around, leave a comment and please consider subscribing. Bye. Excuse us, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> One, two. Guys, I have something to show you. So earlier this year, we had a the meeting that we always have when oh, we call it an all hands meeting when you're starting a new a new year and you're trying to bring the whole company along on what is happening, what happened the past year, what's happening this year, and basically the plans for the company, how the company did, how the company performed, all that good stuff. And I unfortunately was not around for the meeting because I was in Canada. But I've just come in. Today is the first time I'm in the office since the start of the new year. And I got an award. I got an award for excellence. I didn't think that I am someone that would care about something like an award but I went because they had sent it to me a picture that I had won an award and I was like oh, okay cool but having it physically in my hand and just holding it I feel gratitude it feels so good to be appreciated for the little work you think you've done it encourages you to want to put in more want to pour in more into the company or the place you're at I just feel very grateful i feel very happy and i'm going to put this in a place where i can always see it that's how happy i feel guys a little recap on how the day has been going i know that it picked me up so i went downstairs to get a flat white because I tried the coffee here and it was terrible. Good morning guys let's chat a little while i do my makeup because it's been so many months since i filmed a work vlog and there's a reason for that first of all it's spring and it's so sunny like literally like it's 5 6 a.m now by 5 a.m it was already so bright out and i am loving it i didn't know that i'll be the kind of person to love Bruh. spring because i because i never have never done that i've never been like a spring person because it's very rainy and then it's sunny and the weather is temperamental but i love it and i am it's like you know when you're in seasonal depression but you don't know that you're in seasonal depression i feel like <clears throat> 
I feel like I've been in a seasonal depressive mood and I didn't know that I was in a seasonal depressive mood and I am leaving that mood as the weather is changing and I love you for me. The last walk, walk clip you saw was taken in January, February and after that I really haven't filmed again and i think it's just because a lot of things were happening at the time you might not know this but we are in an economical crisis there are companies who are letting go of some of their staff there's a lot of redundancies going on um a lot of uncertainties the job market is currently not the best for setting rules and not the best in general and that was i was being affected by that not personally when redundancies happen of course the people that are uh, made redundant are affected but also we that are in the same team we also get affected by these things because morale is low energy levels are low nobody wants to be made redundant and it's not the best feeling for anybody at all. Another thing is because of the redundancies, we have had a change in teams. So now I'm currently working in a different team. So it's also been a transitionary phase and that's why I haven't been doing all these work vlogs. I know you guys like it. My work vlogs get the most views and I'm grateful for that um but yeah we're just in a transitionary phase where i'm going to be meeting some of my new team mates today that's just the reason why i've been away but i am back now i have renewed energy i am upskilling aggressively i know where i want my career to take and i know what i need to do to get there and i think that's important Anyway, let's do a time lapse of this makeup because we're going into London today and you know anytime your girl goes into London it's always like time 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 so let's get it done. You go, don't try to this is the entire fit i've just removed the jackets because it's hot inside and um i actually don't want to wear it but i'm going to carry it because i'm in the uk and the weather is very unpredictable so this shirt is from shein it's just a basic work shirt i have zara jeans on and my new balances and copper girdy looking very corporate well, not very corporate because I'm wearing jeans, but we're ready to go to work. I just need to get my tickets and then I would see you later. I really like my look. What I actually wanted to wear wasn't my size. So I've actually like added a lot of weight, which I need to get rid of. But I'm not, I'm not pissed off by this at all. So...
managed to get a boot. I was looking for a table with a monitor so I could connect my laptop to a screen, but I couldn't find any. The office is really full today. So I just got a boot and it has a nice window view. So I'm just going to be here for the rest of the morning and see where my day takes me. Are you trying to get crazy with this thing? Don't you know I'm local? Right now in my career, I know exactly where I want to be in the next five years and I know exactly what I need to do to get there. But things seem to be moving very slowly and it gets me very frustrated. But I keep on reminding myself that success is the sum of small efforts repeated and I just need to keep on doing the small things every day to get me to where I want to be. Basically, the law of compounding effect and in reminding myself of that I don't feel as frustrated I don't feel as demotivated and I can keep on putting in small efforts every single day